Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing another pick a card and this is gonna be your next chapter in love and I will possibly be looking into your first date with this person as well. And I'm getting really hot, so that's a really good sign. I tend to get really, really hot if I'm doing a soulmate reading and that just seems to be the only time I get super, super hot. So that's perfect timing. So thank you so much for being here. We have four groups here. We're also gonna be putting crystals on the cards, but if you'd like to choose just by cards, we have this first card with triumph. The second card is balance. Number three is love and number four is a two of cups. So if you wanna choose by crystal, I'm going to put the crystals on now. First have the peach selenite. And then the next one we have is rough clear quartz. The next one we have is strawberry quartz, which is one of my faves. And the last one we have is smoky quartz. So please choose your group now. If you want more time, then please pause the video. And if you'd like to check out my private reading rates for a private reading, then all that information is down below. So let's get started with your love reading guys. Starting off with group number one with triumph. Hello, group number one. So let's get started with your reading. So I got some really interesting imagery and this message was very, very, very intense. And I heard, what will it cost you? Like that is a really intense message. So because you guys have most likely um, been working on your boundaries, you guys are really being asked to focus on what is good for you, what energy is serving you, what sort of people you wanna have in your life. And when I do my love readings, I don't like to just focus on relationships as romantic. I like to focus on friendships and family and all that stuff because if you are kind of sacrificing yourself in your romantic relationships, yes, most likely you're going to be doing it in your love relationships too. So what I feel for you guys is you want commitment. You are working on straight up commitment. So if there's anything in your life that's asking you to take a step further as to basically trust yourself in this next situation. So it could be a work, orientated thing, it could be a house, it could be even, you know, being a auntie or uncle, maybe somebody you know is having a baby. There's this sense of like immediate commitment, but I'm hearing, are they ready for it? And I hate that song that Taylor Swift did, but I'm hearing, are you ready for it? When she says like, are you ready for it? Oh my God, don't get me started, I hate Taylor Swift. Okay, so, <laughs> all right. So that's basically what I'm seeing with this card. But what I feel is you are entering into this new kind of cave energy. And if you are single right now, I do feel like a lot of you guys are learning to put both hands on the wheel. Because what you can see in this card is you can see that this woman has kind of like her hand to this kind of cord. And what this is showing me, it kind of shows me a little bit of deceit or someone changing their mind or something to do with like, I'm not fully committed. So I want you to ask yourself anywhere in my life, am I not fully committed? Am I not committed to my emotions? Am I not committed to listening to myself? Am I not committed to things that I enjoy? Things like that, that's gonna be really important because the next stage of your life is going to be intense commitment. So you will be tested on that. And if, there, if this is for you guys who are single, then yes, I do feel like there will be someone new, um, but the universe will test you <laughs> before this person comes in basically. Um, also, I love this crystal. This is just so feminine. So a lot of you guys will most likely be working on your feminine side and the gentle part of you, the part of you that just wants that open heart and that loving energy. And my heart chakra is really like doing something. Okay, so this is really beautiful. All right, so let's get you some more cards. So I really wanna just do some playing cards today. I wanna keep it quite simple. So we're gonna see what's going on in group number one's love life. Okay, let's see what you guys have got going on. Let's have a look and see. So this is so random, but I'm picking up on a green dinosaur. And I'm also hearing Barney the dinosaur, but they're telling me about um, the dragon, the green dragon, what's his name? Pete's dragon. They're showing me Pete's dragon, which is very random. Yeah, okay, right, so there's something about abandonment in this group. I don't know if the dragon like left the boy or the boy left the dragon, but there's something about leaving something behind and not being ready for it. 
something like that okay okay right tell me what's going on queen of cups gorgeous i love this queen of cups queen of swords okay wow queen of swords two of cups we have the ten of pentacles we have the seven of pentacles okay the ten of cups and the i want to say the knight is this a knight yes they're saying back away from the immature people back away from people who are not giving you what you deserve so the next chapter in your love life i actually really see it being very successful i think you're actually going to meet someone who meets your needs but i just keep hearing okay you guys are getting tested quite a lot if anything, it's just going to end up different for everyone. So, of course, this is a general reading. Just take it as it resonates. But you do have this King of Pentacles underneath. This is actually the person that you're wanting to be with. This figure here is partly why you are in the situation that you're in at the moment. Like, why you're single, why you're feeling down, why you're feeling all these emotions. is because this person has a very significant, they're saying a sig signature energy. So their energy is around you at the moment and they're kind of helping you to transform into this beautiful, wholehearted version of you that so desperately wants to come through. And the Two of Cups is amazing. What I'm hearing is they just need to receive. They just need to receive. So you might be scared of actually receiving um, on a physical, like, intimate level, maybe on a emotional level but what I feel is there's this like lack that you're kind of holding on to and it's just making you feel really crappy and it's like they just want you like your your guides and the universe is just just like okay move over here move over here like your energy is very potent where you put your attention is very important so if you're focusing on things you don't have people you don't have in your life you aren't in control of that if anything you're just in control of how you feel so if you're feeling like crap really work on what that's coming up and why that's coming up because what I see is for some of you guys, you may even meet this person within like three months, possibly for some of you guys. And what I see is this person is going to change the way you see relationships. Yes, perfect, right. So what I see is a commitment within your life specifically, nothing to do with relationships. Of course, you know, everything is to do with relationships. But what I see is I'm seeing from here to here is a commitment of yourself, okay? So you're working to work with your emotions, to work with your mind, and then come together to form a new opportunity. What I see in the next two to three months is a change in your perspective on your life. You're going to want more, you're going to ask for more and this looks like a a job opportunity and then I feel like this job opportunity or whatever is enabling you to move overseas so it could even be moving house and then you're going to see your relationship to yourself changing and then you're going to meet your person that's basically what I'm feeling a lot of people are jealous of you but it's actually positive because when people are jealous of you it shows you that you are like basically sh what's the word like you're expressing this vibe that people that people want within you they want that within you but what i see is i don't feel like anything is too uncomfortable I, they keep pointing me to a certain deck so i'm going to look into that certain deck okay so let me just grab it here and let's see and then i think what we'll do is i think i want to grab a couple of astrology cards for you guys and we'll see what wants to come through. So they want to use this one. And I want to use the astrology deck. Okay. So this is going to bring you to this person going forward. And I always want to do love readings because first of all, I just generally love love readings. But secondly is I don't want you guys to think like you need a person to make you happy because trust me, you really don't. Like I was always somebody who thought I needed to be with somebody to make myself happy. But the only reason why we're, we're taught, we're, essentially we're taught that, like a lot of the time it's to do with parents who don't acknowledge you. Um, it's to do with the way society is. It's to do with the fact that we're all in boxes and we don't have a, a tribe. Like it's so many reasons. Um, um, but I want you to know like you're safe with being single if you are single like you're safe to be single right now like I feel like you have to get aligned with your life like you can't just keep avoiding it by thinking oh what if this and what if that and what if this person doesn't come along and go honestly like, you're gonna find your person okay stop worrying like stop it I'm seeing them going no and like tapping your wrist like no stop it okay haha -ha, success definitely there's something to do with your career that's being really um pointed at haha -ha, soulmate yay oh i love that that's so good 
and then we have a potential. Okay. Right, so essentially, and we have cycle, so a cycle in your love life is closing out and is changing. I feel like the person, oh, my phone just went off, that is a sign. I didn't realise my phone was on actually. Um, that was actually just a Just Eats notification. <laughs> um, but yeah, that could be a sign for you guys. Um, okay, so basically we have number 33 is soulmate. What I feel is you're changing the way you see men or women, whoever you're basically liking, you're seeing the way, you're changing the way you see these people. And you guys are very ready for something new. If it's not a relationship in the next three months, it'll be a friend that's really, really dedicated to you. Essentially, you gotta get out of this sickly cycle. I'm hearing sickly, 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 like it feels like it's making you ill. So you could be in an environment that's making you sick, um, it could be a relationship that you've got in your life that's making you ill, like a friendship, family member, whatever. But you have to grow out of this cycle to manifest this person. You can't be just continuously living with parents and just basically being around them and, you know, getting annoyed because they're controlling you, things like that. Like, of course, you be with them if it's saving money, you know, and, and I'm not talking about the practical sense. If you know something is literally draining the life out of you, they're asking you to move on and move forward if you can and you will do this when you're eventually ready i see for a lot of the, you guys this group is the moved on group like you would have moved on from something that is really unhealthy and i feel like you are completely ready for a soulmate i think you're completely ready um essentially of course it is divine timing so i can't tell you like literally exactly how you're going to meet this person but we can have a look and see if there's anything that wants to pop out okay so we have the sun in capricorn fifth house perfect so if you are going for a career change this is a massive indication i'm going to put selenite underneath this uh card i tend to like putting crystals under the card just so you guys can see it there we go um so basically what i feel for you guys is there's this change in your career a change in your security as well so if you have been under the thumb of somebody for a very long time my love you are releasing that you are coming out of that because what this means is sun in capricorn is like it's shining a light on the corruption that's what it's doing capricorn if it's in an unbalanced place it can be very 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 corrupt just think of the capricorn age and what we've gone through recently it is suppression it is confinement it is like pinning you in a cage like that is what you're letting go of and you're basically working on your potential right now if you have never had a therapist and you always think hmm, maybe i should i have one should i not if you are continuously having thoughts that are overwhelming you if you are continuously sabotaging yourself if you've got really intense addictions i'm not a doctor but honestly having a therapist for me has has been an extreme help because i always felt very unhappy and i didn't realize why and a lot of it was because of where i was growing up and where i was living and it was just really uncomfortable and intense and you don't realize until someone mirrors back to you being like girl that is toxic get out <clears throat> okay so random but i see spongebob squarepants and i'm hearing like your clothing is changing and your environment is changing from earth to water so maybe you are tuning more into a place that is more watery maybe you're going to move somewhere more with water but I also see you tuning more into your emotions, which is gonna possibly push you to move somewhere where there's water because you're gonna wanna do that because you're just gonna feel naturally drawn to something like that. And I'm hearing you're letting go of this just intense perfectionism that's been weighing you down for a very long time. Okay. Neptune vision. house capricorn yeah so literally something made you ill and also it could have been mentally ill physically ill um i'm not going to go into it too much because i don't do health on this channel but essentially you are growing out of something that is just old and and funny enough we're going from the capricorn age to the aquarius age <laughs> i love that so your person is very much somebody who is to do with health they could also be in uh, holistic medicine or western medicine or even chinese medicine it doesn't actually have to be a certain area of the world just it could just be they tend to go towards pharmaceuticals or the herbal route depending on the sort of person you are if you're a doctor they're probably going to be very similar to you 
basically what I see is your life is completely changing the way you see relationships is changing don't be afraid to go deep into it don't be afraid to sit with the uncomfortable stuff because my love it's all on the surface right now it needs to be healed and putting your hands in your heart meditate is going to really help you let's see is there anything that they show me they want to look at something okay so what they want to do is they want to show me sorry guys if the audio is really weird because i'm just organizing my cards here i feel like i want to look into the the kind of connection you're going to have <clears throat> so when you're going to meet i want to look into that and i also want to look into your first date they don't want to tell me too much about this person in your reading so i'm sorry that might happen in another reading but this one not this isn't the right one so if they want to tell me then they will tell me but honestly your person is such a surprise but if you want to check out more of your person i definitely recommend looking at another love reading because i do have some juicy details in some of them okay so what they want to show me is they want to show me like the environment of how you're going to meet the emotions okay so they're saying i want you to be ready and open to new things and realize that you are worthy of them because you've been shown time and time again that you're not worthy of receiving you're ready to receive now there we go you'll get used to it perfect my throat is so dry okay so what I see is you could meet them in person or through a social media I don't a social media sure um I don't think it's an online dating site they're saying no hell no stay away from online dating sites flirtatious they're showing me this person could have brown hair or black hair okay and they're very friendly they're really friendly do you know what this person could easily just walk up to you tell me again yep 100 percent. that is the four of wands that is a perfect confirmation you are going to be very stable when you meet this person like you're going to be a position where you've just got a new job and you love it or you've just moved in and you love it you've just got a new friend and you love it like there's something that solidifies and makes you feel fucking safe boom you meet somebody who is ready for a lot of physical touch who is ready for support something that is dedicated and beautiful and honestly this is a very different type of relationship you've never had anything like this so get ready because this is like okay just buckle up yes okay what's next lovely so they're going to initiate they're actually showing me a different way of communicating with my cards that's kind of interesting so you can see like i don't normally go duh, 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 duh. like i don't normally do that and normally go from like one side to the other so what that's showing me first of all is like you'll get used to it like the way your life is going to change it's going to be like that it's going to be so different within the next three months if you are ready for it okay this is a general reading but once you've met this is afterwards so with this king of wands this is showing me dedication someone who is really interested in you don't accept anything less than someone who's interested in you okay don't question it if someone is not interested in you they're not showing that they're interested in nope cut the cord gone because that you don't need people in your life who are like that and i'm talking about family members friends anyone who treats you with disrespect cut the cord it's not worth it we're in the aquarius age now and she is blooming and she just she has she has needs and she has boundaries okay first date with this person in the first place that comes to mind okay all right there you go first place that comes to mind so obviously it's very specific to you guys oh okay okay i was not expecting that all right so we have the first place that comes to mind the bedroom hi okay not do you know what i like about this it's not just a sensual thing familiar cozy safe and com competent compet what's competent what does that mean i don't know is that a really simple word i don't know please comment down below <laughs> i don't know what that is oh i like this somewhere in africa okay so you could be from africa they could be from africa last one south america okay so 111 is going to be a big signifier that this relationship is on its way and i'm also hearing why are you worrying they keep telling me, why are they worrying so much and i'm looking like i don't know <laughs> it's not me who's talking so what i see is like you are literally needing to create your life from scratch that's what i see and i'm seeing you being given a puzzle a puzzle and you're being it's like tipped over it's like being tipped over and all the pieces are everywhere you've always been given a certain specific puzzle and you know what it's like it's kind of like being it's like reading a book your entire life the same book over and over again you know how it starts you know how it ends that is the cycle you've been in for a very long time maybe in 10 20 30 years 
that essentially the reason why you've been single is because you've been too much in your masculine. And I'm gonna say that very bluntly. If you get offended, I just click off the video because honestly, I'm gonna get very honest right now. It's because you're too much in your masculine or have been, okay? You wanna know when you're not in your masculine anymore or as much in your masculine when you are able to handle every wave of emotion that comes. You're not judging it, you're just sitting with it, you're loving it. And also you're not distracting yourself by just doing loads of stuff. You're having fun with yourself. You're not, you're excited by life. You're able to really flow with life even when it's really hard. Like you can be happy and have no money. You can be happy and not have a house. You can be happy and not have a relationship. And I know, yes, it can be a little bit controversial, but you can, essentially. It's just where you put your focus. Yes, of course, it's more difficult. I'm not saying that, but you are changing. And I do feel like when you become much more in your feminine, and I'm talking about my guys and gals here, you are basically just gonna get back into your heart, my love. You're just gonna get so comfortable with feeling your stuff that when you meet your person, you're gonna be able to handle it. You're not gonna run away because this is a big relationship. This is a big commitment. This isn't just something small, okay? And I'm seeing the number 10 and I'm seeing a tent. So maybe you meet them in a tent. Cheeky. Okay, so is there anything else they wanna say? Is there anything else they wanna say? We're gonna get one of these. Actually, no, we're gonna get one of these. Okay. Some of you guys like coloring. Speak your world into being. We had the throat chakra. Clear your minds. There's a lot of Gemini stuff going on at the moment anyway. Honor your feelings, attuned to the divine. You are literally being asked to really 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 get comfortable with your needs and not everyone else's it's not about everyone else because at the end of the day when you go to sleep you're not sleeping you know yeah you can be sleeping next to somebody but you're not actually sleeping you they're not going into your dreams with you you're on your own so you gotta really recognize like you are everything by yourself you don't need someone to complete you okay and once you actually get to know that and understand that you're going to be much more comfortable in your body you're going to explore yourself more and then your person will be like wow you are hot because you have some really strong boundaries and you love yourself unconditionally. The color purple and the color green, massive indicator that you're on your way to meeting your person, heart chakra. That is your reading, my loves. Have a great day. Rates are below for my readings and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. So for you guys, I got Anastasia, like the, I mean, maybe the name as well, um, but I got, oh, I'm hearing Thumbelina as well. I don't know, I actually know the Thumbelina story. But what I'm getting from this group is a sense of like, I'm not changing for a man, I'm not changing for a woman. And the Enchanted uh, kind of vibe I'm getting, like Enchanted the film, is when you look at the kind of characters, the, the main character wants a kind of, they, they wanna, well, they're not aware that they want a, a better life for themselves. They just think, you know, I'm gonna get married and that's gonna be the most amazing thing. But then they meet that new guy in the in the actual you know the real world instead of the cartoon fantasy world and they and she starts to fancy this other guy and this is kind of what i'm feeling it's like when you actually step into your real self which will take some time and is taking time it feels very leo as well it feels very like a breakthrough a breaking breaking through breaking out and it feels really fucking good like you guys are going to be so energetic in the next couple of weeks i'm hearing in the next couple of weeks so maybe not with, with the next couple of weeks coming up but after that you're going to be really really energetic and what i see is you're fully embracing the things that you that interest you like things like star wars star trek because i've got vulcan it kind of reminds me of star trek um but yeah there's this sense of like not having to rely on another person to make you happy and yes people will you know make us happy in terms of like friendships and partners and things like that but they are not like literally the source to our happiness they really aren't because when you think of all the breakups you've possibly been through or friendship breakups we kind of go we go through this transformational phase relationships as much as much as okay as annoying as it is and as much I don't know what I'm trying to say. As much of a intense kind of 
idealistic thing that has been put onto relationships. Yes, they will make you happy, but they're not the source of your happiness. Like you can be happy and not be in a relationship. You can be happy and not have friends, like you can. It literally is a process. It's about where you put your focus. This group is very Libra, and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you guys are Virgos, Libras, or Scorpios for this group, because you guys are the dreamers. You guys feel things very intensely. You're very sensitive. You're somebody who will always kind of sacrifice yourself for other people. And I'm hearing a relationship will not require sacrifice. The only, the only reason that you've been feeling like that and have been introduced to that is probably through childhood like that's probably what has been taught to you by parents or family members uh, this sense of like not being able to have boundaries because of the way you were taught but what I see is you're worthy with all those things like you are so 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 worthy and amazing and oh, I love this so much like this is so perfect this group so I'm hearing it's no coincidence I found you and I'm also seeing that you won't ever have to doubt that this is the right person. You won't have a reading on it. You won't have to look into it too much. Like the right relationship will just require you to be um, explorative about who you are and just be yourself. Like you won't have to change who you are. Um, you will just have to be yourself. And that's, that's the challenge here. If you've kind of been taught to sacrifice yourself, it will be hard to figure out who you are and what you like. And it's safe for you to, to like different things. It's safe for you to not be um, like everyone else. Like, and I think that's something that you guys are slowly learning. Okay. Okay, so what I'm hearing is there's a lyric that I just listened to a song and I love this song. And the song is, the song, the song lyric is the ice is slowly melting. And what I see is when you freeze something, it stops it from growing, it stops it from changing. That's kind of the connections you've been in. And now you're kind of been, you're kind of thawing yourself like you're, letting go of being frozen and being stuck in a certain place and we also have fire and we have water so this is possibly a fire and a water relationship it doesn't have to be those signs i mean it can be but what i'm feeling is it's like the your partner will bring in that fire that you are deserving of like passion and fun and sexualness you know things like that okay so this is your card and i think this is exactly what you are needing to hear right now so this is empowerment and it says feeling the oneness of yourself with all things is true love true power comes from comes not from the external instead it is a source from your direct ability to connect with the divine within you when your source of power is coming from your internal connection to the infinite all illusions of separation are dis disintegrated Okay, so through the source of empowerment, you strengthen your light body and attune yourself to the vibration of love. No longer do you live your life through the cloudiness of the human lens. Instead, you live your life from a place of clarity. Loved one, merge entirely into this space of oneness. Attune your frequencies to this universal source of harmony in all areas of your life. Take time out to meditate, connect to your inner light and power, amplifies energy through gratitude. I am empowered through the knowing. I am one with a divine source of love. Is this the one with all the chakras? Yeah, so you guys have all the chakras been highlighted. Every card has the chakras highlighted in different ones. This one also has all the chakras. This one doesn't. This one only has the, uh, the solar and the heart. So what I feel for a lot of you guys is you're just going through a massive rebirth. Like this is about you learning like you shouldn't have to literally give away your power to get into a relationship i'm talking directly to my libras because i know what you guys are like i have had libra in my chart too so i get it hence why i love you guys so much okay i relate i fucking relate so hard <laughs> okay i'm actually seeing like a metaphor and they're showing me like they're, they're telling me like tell them what you're seeing so what i see is you're in a pizza place and you you're picking all your pizza toppings and you always choose what everybody else wants so somebody says like one of your friends say oh, i want pepperoni and you're like oh okay yeah that will do but you really don't like pepperoni <laughs> and this is kind of your, your habit that you've kind of um kind of connected to to keep you safe is this sense of just agreeing to everyone and you know what happens when you start agreeing with everybody you lose yourself you don't know what you like and you don't end up having somebody asking you what do you want what do you like my love you're going to start to get that and that's something that you are so fucking deserving of and the reason why you're, you're going to start to get it and you're going to start to see it is because you're cutting off old relationships that are not good for you friendships family work fam family work not family work, family and work. Um, yeah, just anyone who just depletes you. It's not, it's not worth it. Okay. All right. 
right, so we have the King of Swords. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. A lot of you guys are focused on your career at the moment, which is good. That's kind of where they're wanting you to focus your, your light anyway. You're meant to have a career that brings to light things because you are somebody who can see the psychic, um, emotional side of things. A lot of people can't. Use that to your best ability. Don't search for jobs that diminish that. You're not meant to just be behind the scenes. You're not meant to just be somebody on the sidelines. You're meant to be somebody who ha puts an input, who has very creative ideas. Just because that's always where you've been, that's not who you are. Okay, your job will very much represent who you are. And it's not always a type of job. It's, it's more the energy around it. So say if you're like, and a gardener like people think maybe your gardeners don't hold that much like responsibility but they do like gardening is a fucking lot of work and you're outside a lot and you're connected to nature like there's all these things to it so remember a job is pretty much like a relationship you've got to think what am i getting out of this career okay so we've got the king of swords the seven of pentacles four of swords two of swords seven of cups two of pentacles ace of fucking swords yes so much air in this group okay so i see you meeting somebody not for a, a short not for a while i'm actually feeling more for like a year a year and a half um if that doesn't resonate then maybe that's not the group for you but just take it as it resonates um i'm not a factual box of facts <laughs> and that's a great way of saying it okay so what i see is you're letting go of judgment with yourself, especially if your mother was very narcissistic, judgmental, criticizing. Yeah, you are letting go of that. You are very much letting go of that. Yeah, no more of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm agreeing, I'm agreeing. Um, I also see you packing a suitcase. So wherever you're going, you're just ready. You're like, I'm ready, let's go. Like I'm seeing you, it's kind of like a kid on Christmas and they're like ready to open their presents. That's kind of the energy I see that you're, you're being put in. So what I feel is you have to get out of the country or at least out of your town to meet your person with this group. Okay. Um, if you're thinking, but Victoria, I don't want to move. Girl, you're going to want to move. Okay. You're going to want to move at the time of being around this person. You're going to want to move. Um, there's a lot of air. Air is very, very, very movable. You can't like, I mean, you can, you can contain air, but honestly, it's not normal. It's not natural to contain air. And you can't also see it. So a lot of you guys are going through change and you actually don't know what you're going through. Like you can feel it, but you don't know what the word is for it. And I totally get that. Like I don't, I relate. Okay, so let's get you another card. purpose yeah you guys are really being called to your purpose that's fully part of how you're going to meet your person yeah i'm hearing don't diminish your light guys you are really seeking out jobs that aren't good for you like i'm going to be very blunt and i'm sorry this hurts your soul but honestly you're meant to do jobs that are safe for you if you're constantly debating like what you're good at tune into yourself like you aren't just meant to do a job like for the money you are meant to just have fun as well okay of course if you're desperate for the money then 100 percent. you know of course career readings can be has has lots of different facets to it but i will say that you are so empowering and you have a lot to say and you've got a lot of creative ideas so don't ever feel like you have to have a job that really diminishes your light like you are here to be heard okay so what i see is your person is definitely around your career they have the same thinking as you like they're the sort of person that likes to blend into the background and they're being taught to be pushed like the universe is like off you go off you go <coughs> my throat is really like doing something today oh okay <coughs> oh all right so why am i moving this crystal okay so let's have a look and see about the person what's the main thing that's kind of you guys are going through at the moment haha -ha. leave the past behind boom what else make time for self-love yes self-love was always something i didn't really understand now i understand it it's a feeling it's a feeling that you get when you're putting yourself first so self-love is different for everybody mine is having a nap um 
eating good food. If anything, you just want to look at your moon sign because I'm a cancer moon and I love being cozy. I love to be taken care of like a baby. Like not, don't mean like literally like, oh, treat me like a baby. Like, no, like I have to look after my inner child. Like it is detrimental to my health to look after my inner child. If I'm not watered fed and I'm not slept enough, girl, I'm going to be cranky as fuck and I'm not going to be happy. So I'm like, my emotions are like a baby that I need to take care of them. So that could be something to really look at is like, where am I putting the attention on somebody else and how is that affecting me? And I feel for a lot of you guys is you, you do tend to sacrifice yourself a lot. I'm hearing I sacrifice myself for my kids. I sacrifice myself for other people. My love, you can have balance and have all those things. You don't have to keep sacrificing yourself. There's a difference between sacrificing and leaning your emotions into the situation. Like you have control of how much you are in this situation. You really do. Yes, we have our conditioning, but you, you are fully in control of this, all right? So let's see. What's it like when you first meet this person that you're going to meet? Oops. Okay. All right. So you're going to have to let go of somebody in your life who's just very obsessive. That's the first thing. They kind of call you a little bit needy. All right. So what I see is somebody you meet after healing some fatherhood wounds. Somebody who's very critical in your life. They really affect the way you see yourself. Okay. Let's get a card. Lovely. So you are going to be very comfortable in your finances when you meet your person. And I think this is going to boost your confidence. I'm hearing this wave of confidence allows you to be seen. I'm hearing don't shoot the messenger. That's what I'm feeling. That is what I'm feeling. Okay, so first date. First date. Oops. Whoa. Okay. Kitchen. Antarctica. So they're probably from somewhere quite cold. I'm actually here in Alaska as well. Take a seat in forest. Okay, so your first date could easily be um, in somewhere in nature. Let me think. Could be in a restaurant. Could be in a pub. I'm not feeling coffee shop for this group. I love a good coffee shop, but for this group, it's not for you guys. <laughs> lovely i love this this is such a synchronistic reading so you have the three of pentacles underneath what i'm feeling is you're needing to juggle like where your attention is going you're not used to having a lot of attention on you so your career is going to ask a lot of attention from you but you're going to really like it it's just going to be overwhelming it's kind of like you become it's a feeling of like becoming famous overnight so for you guys who are really introverted yes that will be quite a big a big deal especially if you're having a career that you know you really love but it's just you know a lot of attention is on you you're going from kind of this overwhelmed overworked burning the candle at both ends to feeling very very comfortable in your skin your person is really going to help you in your love life like they are going to make you feel a lot more safer they're going to support you financially physically as well a lot of you guys don't like doing um housework which a lot of us don't but i actually personally i quite enjoy it <laughs> um you know, now that I'm not in a narcissistic household, it is so fucking fun to do that for yourself. It's like my little self-love. Um, but yeah, for you guys, I really genuinely feel like you are going from like quite agitated and in your head, kind of like a Virgo lifestyle to Taurus. So very earthy. But Taurus is very different to Virgo. Tauruses are very stubborn. But they're also really, really, really open hearted. Like you're going from like kind of very practical to open hearted. Like what I see is you've always tend to do stuff by yourself. Um, and I'm hearing like you've got to let the love in a little bit more. And you'll know what this means when it comes to it. Not right this second. But I do feel for a lot of you guys is <sighs> you got to let your guard down. You've got to talk about yourself more. You tend to let everyone else talk. You've got to talk about yourself more and your feelings, not just what you're doing in the day. Yeah, okay. So we have the four of uh, cups. This is fabulous. I think this person is very grounded. They do feel like a Taurus, Aries, Gemini to me. Okay. Um, yeah, what I'm just hearing is you've got to look after yourself. You can't keep burning yourself out. You've got to nap. You've got to eat good all the things like you got to put yourself first my love it is so fucking important okay so that is your reading i really hope you enjoyed it i hope you have a lovely lovely day rates are down below and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group three let's get started with your love reading so you guys we're going to talk about 
your next chapter in love and your first date. So that's what we're going to be looking into today. Okay, so you guys chose the strawberry quartz. I love this crystal. It's so pretty. It's got such a yummy, gemmy kind of energy to it. It's very... I want to eat it. <laughs> okay, so we have love and we have Isis. I love this image. I think it's so gorgeous. I'm going to show you a close-up. So pretty. So what I get is this two kind of leader energy, like both of you are major leaders and you're following, I'm hearing you're following in the footsteps of past partners. So people who are in your ancestral line, for those of you who, you know, whoever you kind of relate to the most in your ancestry, you're going to be definitely working with that karma in, um, in the next few weeks and what I see is you're going to be challenging the beliefs that have been put on you in love and this is things like how your parents have reacted to your emotions and how you connect to yourself intimately, how you feel about your own emotions and you know how you feel about the people you're interested in and what sort of people have you attracted. Like a lot of your karmic stuff is coming to an end and I see that what's coming next is something that's gonna be very, very big. I don't see it's gonna be something lightly. I think it's gonna be something that's very, very life-changing and it's gonna really change the way definitely going to change the way you see yourself for sure um this person is going to awaken you and your sexuality in a way that's never been open before you will not have to monitor this person um this person is a full-grown adult so they're very very mature and i see you meeting this person by october and this video is timeless so i will say uh where are we now we're in june july august september october so no more than four months I don't think I think it's going to be even less than that if anything it could even be within a month that you meet this person but honestly it's up to divine timing and honestly your life is so much more important right now rather than just focusing on when you're going to meet this person it's more about what you're going through because you're going through such a big shift that is essentially the most important thing okay so I'm going to pull you a threads of fate card first and we're going to see uh, what's going on in your love life and then we'll have a look and see what's to come. I think you're going to meet someone who really challenges you to get out of your comfort zone. A lot of your life you've kind of been in a place where... And... Okay, sorry guys, I had to um, pause the video for a moment. Basically, you guys are going to meet your match. And you've always been in a place where you've had to monitor other people. Like you've been either the mother or the father for your partner. And that's just not it. Like you are meant to be in a very secure place within yourself. And then you're going to meet your person. Like you have to be concrete in your ideas and who you are. And yourself as a person. And then you're going to essentially meet that match. Like it's going to be top notch. I'm seeing a person with a top hat. And normally, like, to me, that would kind of signal, like, Capricorn age, like, corruption. To me, it's actually quite cute. It's signalling, like, you will know this person by the way they dress. And by the, by the way they look, you'll be like, oh, my God, that's them. Like, you'll know because they'll wear something significant. You might be drawn to a certain colour that they wear. And you'll be like, oh, my God, that's my person. And you'll see it and you'll be like, yeah, that's them. That is them. Okay, so let's get you a Threads of Fate card. Let's see dare to dream perfect i'm seeing a young child and they're tugging at your t-shirt this could be your inner child yes it's, it is your inner child it could be your actual child um if you have a child if you don't it could be and also your inner child i see them tugging they're like look they're over there well that's kind of the energy i get from this um from this message Okay, <clears throat> so we have soul work. <laughs> I love this card. Soul work underneath, so you're very much working on what resonates with me, <clears throat> what is right for me. Everyone at this moment is working on something very significant and it can be either love, relationship or career. Love, love, career or home. Everyone's going for at least something within one of those realms. 
you guys are doing all the things <laughs> you're dealing with all the things and i see you leveling up in all the parts of your life basically what's happening is you're dare to dream big like you're being asked to step out your comfort zone in your life overall you're being asked to transmute all the stuff that's been put on you and i'm pretty sure this image is the same Im image from the sacred sexuality card so basically you're looking into your sexuality right now what it means for you uh, basically your power where you give it away uh, where you ha where you feel like you've had to adapt to other people you're not doing that anymore and you are ascending very very quickly and my love your person is going to be so fascinated by you they're going to have so many fucking questions like they're going to be so interested in everything you do and you both are a massive power couple you're both very 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 similar and you both love each other so incredibly much okay so if anyone asking this is called the lover's path tarot lover's path tarot oh it smells so good it's a new deck i love that oh yeah do you guys love the smell of like a new book so that's what this smells like it smells really good perfect ten of coins absolutely gorgeous this is the path to meeting your person so we've already got the ten of coins which is the fact that it's right at the start means like you're ready for a new cycle like this cycle's done goodbye and it's really good it's so good yeah justice everything you've been working towards is starting to manifest oh that's is that an extra card okay that's an extra one we don't want that one so this is a new deck i haven't really used it too much so there will be a couple of cards in there that kind of pop out contemplation so your person i'm seeing they have brown hair or black hair they've got quite dark eyes got a three of cups underneath i see a new tribe being made you are literally being stretched so much <laughs> in many ways that that sounds kinky love that okay so we have desire strength and grace this is your person kind of helping you with what you're going through this person's got a real extensive knowledge on something that you're, more, you're needing to learn they could be a co-worker but they could also be somebody just teaching you something they could be an instructor um i thought i saw a fly but i didn't so maybe a fly is an omen getting rid of the old crappy stuff this person is full has fully got your back they've fully 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 got your back um i wish i knew these names i think they might be names of like mythical or like biblical characters i'm not too sure um we've got like beatrice isol isolde i don't know but yeah okay so basically you are oh, dante that's a nice name i feel like a lot of you is dante an angel because he's an angel in this i just feel like you are literally getting saved by somebody in a really really kind and gentle way like honestly you're not looking for this person at all you're not even interested in having a partner like you want one but you're not reaching out for one like you feel really comfortable just being with yourself and your person's just going to pop in like a friend it'll feel like a friend at first it'll be so easy and yeah i'm seeing no more than three to four months meeting this person it's going to be super super easy okay so what i'd like to look at i'm seeing the color purple and i'm going to pull one of these purple dice and see what number comes out oh <laughs> it literally rolled off the table one yeah i don't think it's going to be that fast sorry slow i don't think it's going to be that slow for you to meet your person honestly i think it's going to be pretty quick i think it's going to be yeah it could even be one month i think i think it could even be that if you're ready then of course it's going to come in um right let me find my deck okay there it is so what we're going to do now is we're going to look into um the first date when you meet this person and when you first okay when you first meet and then your first date that's what we're gonna look into i can grab these cards my nails sometimes don't let me pick up certain cards <laughs> i want to actually look at what you're afraid of i think i'm hearing i'm afraid why are you afraid feels like a virgo energy oh is that virgo no scorpio i thought that was virgo some of you guys have got a bit of virgo virgo fear what does that virgo fear mean fear of not being perfect or fear of perfectionism like you can't make a mistake no you are loved i love that Gorge, 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 gorge. Oh, so other earth signs, not Virgo though. There we go. Attend to the details. So that's basically what you're working on now is focusing on details, what you can control, focusing on just little things, even if they're so totally unrelated to what you're going through. You're like, do you know what? I feel like going for a run. Do it. Like, don't get tied down by strategical things right now. Just follow your intuition as much as possible because your person's on the other side of that. Um, let's move these over. 
I love strawberry quartz though, it's like one of my favourites. They're showing me, like when I touched that, I heard Leo Fifth House and Fun. Like they want you to commu to go and tune more into fun. Like once you've got your stability down, you're gonna wanna have so much fun. There could be four people coming into your life. I'm seeing your man is this one, or sorry, your woman or your man, and then you've got three other friends. So it could literally be your person's a Capricorn, and then you've got a Taurus, a Libra, and a Gemini friend something like that or it could be your person's this one and you've got a Capricorn, Gemini, Libra friend, something like that. I feel like you are literally working on all these things, like you're literally working on becoming your best self by stepping up and leading, making decisions based on your intuition, knowing your worth, it's just all coming together. Okay, right, let's see what it's gonna be like when you meet your person. So the main thing that you're really working on is this fear of not being loved for who you are. Extroverted, I love that because you guys are quite introverted I feel. You're not the sort of person, oh, penetration, I felt that. I felt like he was, he or she is going to open your door, literally like a, I mean, not a physical door, like a, a sexual door, like your legs. Between your legs, that's kind of what they're doing. Um, yes, judgmental, fast. You're going to see this person, you're going to have judgments of them like that. Like, you're going to be like, that's my person. It's not going to be critical judgments. They're saying, no, it's not a critical judgment. It's just a judgment of, that's my person. And you have all these ideas about them. And you're, you're, you're very right. Like, you have very em emotional ties to this person. And this is somebody who's got a really lovely voice. Um, very kind. I'm seeing this person, they have the most kindest eyes ever. Like, they look at you and they're, and you just, you just melt like butter. Like, you melt in this person's eyes. Okay, so they want me to pull another card. So, let's just clarify you meeting this person. Lovely. So, I see you, um, literally just going on a walk, meeting them in a, in a park, um, in a cafe. Coffee shops are really good for you because you're calm in them. They like, the universe says, and my guides are saying, I like it when you're calm because you're you're more um, open to people coming towards you. Sometimes if we're quite anxious or introverted, it's quite hard to communicate with people because we're kind of overstimulated. But you've got the Seven of Cups, which is amazing. Like that just confirms it. Okay, so what's your first date like? The bathroom. That's fucking random. Oh, right. Rebirth. <laughs> I was like, oh, in a shower? Okay, I mean... Yeah, sure. Okay, so we have Europe, somewhere in Europe. So it could be anywhere from uh, England to Germany, Spain. Uh, I'm here in Madrid. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Madrid. Um, Italy, places like that. Place of work, you can meet them. They could also be working on their laptop or you could be working on your laptop at this place. So it could be in a cafe, studio, lovely. Right, so wherever it is, it's a very quirky, cute little place. It's not something that's really serious. Like it's just an old kind of like gray scale walls. Like no, like where you're working is where it's something quite cozy. It's cute, it's fun, it feels right. And they're telling me, please pull one of these. So let's just get clarification on all of these. Okay, you have to get away from your old life to meet this person. Like, it is a completely refreshed connection. Like, you will, what you won't know anyone around this person, and most likely, yeah, you're starting from scratch. And you feel really comfortable around this person. You feel really confident because you haven't got anything tying you down. So you're just ready. Lilith, I love that. Lilith is nice because it's all about being seen. Uh, my throat is absolutely killing me. So you might be scared of being seen in this nature. You may have had trauma with intimacy, and I won't go there because obviously it can be quite triggering, but physical intimacy could have been quite triggering for you. And um, basically I feel, I'm hearing by the new moon in Libra, you could meet this person. So it's gonna be timeless, but that's for some of you guys. And my legs are opening. I just felt the need to open my legs <laughs> all of a sudden, which is the hips. This is about being safe, it's about moving forward and feeling good and safe. I think there's definitely a new moon here that's gonna change. You're gonna meet your person around a new moon and I can, I'm hearing yes, 100% on that. I can feel that fully, fully, fully. Tell me anything else. Okay, so we have the, I'm gonna say, that, yeah, the page of wands, okay. And the five of swords. What is that? What's this with this five? Can you tell me a bit more about that? Four of, four of swords. Right, so you're going to be scared of, of um, something about how you talk. <laughs> you're just really nervous because you really like them. That's literally what they're showing me. And then this is just someone new. Oh, you're scared that 
they're judging you on how you're talking and also that you're scared that they're going to be like your ex if you've had an ex but they're not going to be they're going to be with someone very different and they might introduce you to their friends especially if they're around them at the time of you meeting this person but honestly i see this person approaching you i actually feel that can we just clarify that let's clarify that i see this person approaching you yeah as long as you stay true to your emotions and your intuition and knowing that you know you're in a very good place at the time like you're really working on yourself you're fully committed to that healing journey and ready to kind of just you're not in a judgmental place like you're really really comfortable yeah i think so i think you're going to be in a re you're going to be ready you're definitely going to be ready okay so that's all i'm getting um if you'd like to check out my rates they are down below have a great day and i'll speak to you very soon bye bye hello grid number four let's get started with your reading let's have a look at what is happening in your next chapter in love and what's going to be your first day in your first meeting so you guys got the two of cups this card is just gorgeous it's so pretty i feel such a romantic delicate piscean energy from this group like it's really really feminine i'm feeling like like somebody's just splashing around in the water but they're doing this you know when you just put your hand in the water and you do that and that has that lovely trickling water sound that's what i get from this group and the fact that there's cups is really nice i love in this card it depicts one of the cups falling over here which is really really interesting because what i feel is that you guys are moving on from something that is old and outdated it's most likely a person it can even be a, re a family relationship that you it's just dying out and it's not good for you anymore um because when you start to really focus on yourself around personal relationships not just romantic you will change your life like if your sense of self-worth is no longer dependent on other people like controlling you manipulating you because it can be addictive like when you're in an, uh, an emotional environment that causes you to be in so much chaos it can be very very addictive which is why peace is just is very needed when you're healing so you've got the smoky quartz so you guys are mostly go, most likely going very deep in your intuition at the moment you guys are kind of being forced to get into that intuition and learn to love yourself through the process and this is going to bring you to your person who loves respects you and makes you feel very safe I am picking up the number three for you guys and I will pull a number as well. Okay, we've got four. I feel like it's going to be, April is a good month for you and it could be within about, I think, less than three years you'll meet this person. I think obviously it depends on your timeline specifically, but I'm hearing when I can finally let my hair down and you might have an insecurity about your hair, you may not even have any hair. There's just a sense of like your most biggest insecurity, especially physically, you're going to be able to let yourself be yourself with it. The void. That's so interesting. Yeah, a lot of you guys have reached out for other people um, and felt even worse. And it's because these people they don't have a lot of emotional responsibility like they don't really understand emotions a lot of these people because they haven't met themselves at a deep level because they're avoiding it and you're being forced to kind of look at that shadow and come out and speak your truth so this is definitely to do with family stuff so if you've got a lot of family stuff going on like if you're dealing with a lot of trauma um you're kind of like the scapegoat of the family or the person to kind of like basically literally reveal stuff you will be met with resistance you'll be met with a lot of kind of like um head butting but honestly it's going to get so much better and you have to keep going through it like the reason why you're feeling such a void right now is because you need to pull out of these toxic environments they are consuming you and they're making you possibly unwell or emotionally unwell so i also see you're observing as well you're observing things a lot more you're getting more comfortable with seeing like in between the lines which is really good you might come across a book that really helps you with um your life and where you want to be okay so let's get a couple of these cards let's see just your love life what's the next chapter yeah you gotta release this old way of thinking around your self-worth i'm hearing i'm nothing without this person girl you are everything you're a human being too yeah three of coins you're not getting it's kind of like you're putting your income into this relationship like you're putting your worth and your energy into this connection and you're not getting anything out of it it's like it's like a it, um it's like a 
like you're saving up for something it's like a bank like you have to put money in to get something out like if you put money in you're going to be able to buy something you know that's kind of what it is but it's almost like you're putting money in you're putting attention into this person it's just being drained out that is this person or people you're dealing with there's someone specific in this reading though that you're thinking about a lot and they're not good for you i don't know who this person is they could be a romantic person they could be a partner they could be a a family member there's somebody quite toxic and they could have caused possibly fertility issues as well like your emotional side has been affected by this person and fertility is also about being creative and allowing yourself to be unconditionally creative and not judging yourself and you can't do that around this person so within three years letting go and then we have the ace of cups finally finding your person who really sees you for who you are like i'm, I'm seeing you holding out this cup and they're pouring like all their energy into you but their cup is still full up i'm hearing oh they have a magic cup kind of like that um end scene i think it's in <clears throat> it's in one of the avengers maybe i can't remember what film it's in but it's thor and he has his beer and he drinks it and then it suddenly fills up that's kind of the energy i'm getting from this and I, I'm, I'm seeing that app that everyone used when the uh iphones and ipods first came out that beer app where you tilted it and the beer like drank like you, the beer kind of went down um that's what i'm seeing it's like this sense of no matter who like who you're around at this time in your life, you're gonna be completely uncomfortable around them. So I think it's gonna take about three years to really work through whatever you're going through. But honestly, it doesn't mean you're not gonna meet your person any earlier. It just means that whatever you're going through is a need for healing. Because you can heal whilst being in a relationship. Um, but it's a different type of healing that you have by yourself. Um, and also you're the main person in this, in this story, my love. Like you get to decide. Even if it feels like you can't decide, you can decide. I'm hearing you can poke holes in things and find out, you know, hacks, whether that be therapy, whether that be money hacks to get the job you really want. There's a sense of like making your life as personal as possible. Okay, so let's see the first time you meet this person, what's it going to be like? I got that immediately. That's most likely why, okay, in this group, it's going to be kind of controversial. I won't go too deep into it. There's a lot of sexual stuff and there's a lot of health stuff. So for you guys, you may have been having trouble getting pregnant. You may want to get pregnant. You may have a lot of womb issues, maybe that runs in the family. And I will say they are telling me, and this is the only thing I will say about it because it's a very sensitive subject, is that your emotional state determines how many uh, eggs you produce and I'm saying that with complete and utter intuition I'm not a doctor but what they are saying to me is if you grew up in a very intense corrupt environment ch when you were a child and you couldn't be creative you were st stunted with your imagination it kind of shrinks uh, a part of your brain and that connects to your womb that's what they're telling me it's basically about healing your your sexual energy whether you are a woman or a man like really really connecting to that and not being around people who make you feel bored like getting away from that like nah 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 and i'm talking about friendships too your friendships will be your tribe and that is going to be when you know your person's coming yep this is the energy that you have in this group perfect you have every right to be your most sensual self like you are allowed to be and do and not have shame around it like i could rant but that's not that type of reading today i mean come on four of cups like literally perfect you when you meet your person you are going to think this person's going to think this of me they're going to think that of me they actually don't if anything they don't even think like that like this person um, you've, you've possibly dealt with cheating and this person hasn't and you may think oh my god they're going to cheat what if they leave no 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 it's nothing like that but there will be a lot of tension a lot of intimate tension between both of you haha <laughs> we've got Saturn we've got Leo I mean this doesn't get any more intense so when you first meet it's going to be after your Saturn return or it's going to be after a big karmic cycle you would have cut someone out of your life just before meeting this person because you're going to be ready like your energy is almost going to crack open and then this person is going to see your light and they're gonna it's very spiritual it's a very spiritual type of thing it's not all visible to the eye that's a nice way of saying it. it's not visible to the eye I love that somebody's a postman <laughs> see I'm hearing the song postman Mr Postman uh, look and see that one 
okay childlike perfect you are literally learning to lean into your childlike nature this is your first day with them you are going to possibly be at the beach you could be surfing you could be swimming you could um, be in a tree house maybe you have a tree house in your garden um, you could be in a park you could be in a penthouse you could be going to a movie theater you could be on a boat there's loads of different things you could be building sand castles <laughs> this person allows you to just be in that inner child but my love only you are allowing it and remember if i say somebody is like influencing you to be like this remember you can only be influenced by your own awareness so if you know that you're worthy of more you're not going to be influenced by people who are lower in vibration than you you're just going to be so so good like honestly you're gonna feel so good okay this is a lot a lifetime long lifetime person basically you're learning to work with your worth this is the ace of wands one of the most sensual cards in the tarot and it's a phallic symbol for you know the thing between a man's legs and basically what it says is this is your power and this is your strong ability to see your self-worth without another person on your hip and I do feel for a lot of you guys, you are basically just learning to work with your power and know that you don't have to be masculine. You don't have to control everything. You don't have to suppress everything. Like you are meant to be you. That's the whole point in life. Like you're meant to be yourself. If there's a sense of suppressing it, it's because you're either denying it, not letting it out, or there's people around you who aren't letting you let it out. So there's a sense of like, you'll need to, you're like a worm and you're like navigating through all these things. That's kind of what you're going to be doing the next three years. And you're going to be having a really interesting time. Like you're going to meet this person at a really random place. And because it's three years time, it will be in a space that you don't expect. It could be a group. It could be through a, um, yeah, I'm hearing like a learning group. Maybe you're all being taught something. I don't know, like you're being taught how to dance or how to surf or how to skate. Like you can meet this person through something practical. Could even be through health as well. It could be you work in health. It could be holistic or uh, Western. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So that is your reading. If you would like to check out my rates, they are down below. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.